Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to change the voltage rectifier on this X22 GT250. Now there's two voltage rectifiers on this. There's one that uh, operates the motorcycle as normal, comes up from the stator. Um, then there's another one that controls the lights um, and the dash and all that stuff. But it's the majority is for these lights right here. So the voltage rectifier rectifier is right here. It's right there, the two nuts on it. So we're gonna take that off and I'm gonna show you how to change that. But also right underneath here, there's another one and it looks kind of like a CDI. So um, everybody calls it the light CDI, but it is just a voltage rectifier as well. Um, but it's kind of built like a CDI inside. So, so to do this, <clears throat> to take this one off, it's no big deal. It's just a wrench, two nuts. I can take it off. Uh, but to get to the one back here, I'm going to take off this fairing here and this fairing here uh, just so I can see because I might be able to get to it. I probably won't be able to, but I'm going to try uh, and get to it that way. If not, I'll have to take off one of the fairings on the bottom and I'll reach up and grab it that way because um, it's literally mounted uh, just on a little um, tab right behind here, like underneath this gas tank. So uh, I'm going to get my tools together and uh, I'm going to come back and we'll get started. All right, <clears throat> so let's get started. So we're going to take this one off first. And this is just a number five Allen key. I just have it on my driver. Oh, the rubber pushed all the way in on that side. Stick that out. I'll put that back in after. There we go. And this has to come off. Again, the number five. Or actually, well, it doesn't really need to come off. I'm going to take it off anyway. All right, so now I'm going to take out this bolt right here. Okay. Now we're just going to write it all the way up here. We have the one right here. Now this will just pop right off in your hands. Like that. Right there. there we go. All right. Now I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm in my light over here, but I don't think I need it to show you. So let's go down. There we are. So you'll see that plug right there, that little black box. That's our other one. So like I said, uh, it depends how small your hands are. If you have small enough hands, you can get up through uh, the fairing right here. And I have, I like, I have pretty big hands. Um, and I can get my hand through this bottom one and just reach up. And then you can slide it right out of the rubber. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but we'll get the other one first. And the other one, if you want to look, is right here. Is right there. See it? So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the camera set up and do that, and then we'll uh, we'll start taking them them both off. All right. So now we're gonna get the ten mil bolts or nuts. I'm sorry.
There it is. So this is the voltage rectifier right here. Um, to take it off, there's just two plugs. Right there and there. And that's it. And now to put it back in, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Um, I dropped one of my bolts, so I'll have to look down for it there inside the fairing, but that's not a big deal. I can grab that bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that bolt, then we're gonna put this, um, we're gonna put our voltage rectifier back on, and then we're gonna take off the other one. And uh, we'll switch it up and I'll show you how to do that. Like I said, it looks more like a CDI and it only has one plug, so it's not a real big deal. So uh, I'm gonna get around to the other side and uh, try to find that bolt and uh, I'll return and we'll get this all done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this one right back on. Now to do that, we're just gonna plug in our plugs. It's just the yellow to the yellow, and then the red and blue to the other one. There we go. Now, I just have to Gonna go ahead and get one bolt in there. Get one bolt started. Okay, right, so I went ahead and started that bolt. So I'm just gonna twist this up so I can get my other bolt in, in the hole. Have to tighten up the two nuts, and that's it. And this one's done. Okay. Almost. So that's tight enough. Okay. Now we're gonna get to the other one. Um, like I said, which is right down here. So we're going to come to the other side here. That didn't make you sick. Um, all right, and then we're going to come down. I'm going to see if I can see it from here, but I don't think I can. Just uh, there's not very many openings where you can see where it's at. There it is. So if I put my hand through the fairing, it's this little box right here. And it's not, um, it's just sitting in a little rubber tube or a little rubber holder. So all you have to do is pull it towards you like this and it comes out right in your hand. See how I got it in my hand? And then we're gonna bring it toward the fairing because it's got a good long cord on it. And we're gonna bring it out right here so I can show it to you. And that's it right. That's it right here. And you just have to unplug it. But don't let the plug go or you're gonna to have to reach back in there and find it. But that's it. It's a, it's a funny looking uh, um, voltage rectifier. It does look like a CDI. So everybody calls it the light CDI or the front CDI. 
um, and that's it. So I'm just going to plug that back in because this one works perfect. Now to put it back in, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to reach my hand back inside here. I'll hold it with my other hand so I can make my hand as small as possible. And we'll go back up to my little rubber holder here. And slip it back inside. And just push it in like that. And get in there. Oops. There we are. And if you just wiggle it back and forth inside the holder, it'll grab it like that. And that's it. And that's how you change the front one. So if we look back up, my little black box is right back in the little holder where it's supposed to be. And that's it. So that's how you change both rectifiers. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put our, uh, our fairings back on really fast. Okay, so this fairing here goes up here. There's a little tab here, make sure that you click that up in the corner right here. Like that. Oops. Another tab snuck out. There we, go. there we are. And there should be a push tab right there somewhere. There we go. That. And then we put our one of our bolts in right there. So now we can. And then we have the one that goes up here. Next. There we go. Now, just two fairings to go back on. This little fairing right here. Like that. Just a Phillips screw then for right here. One of my little rubber tabs slipped out, so I'm gonna put that back in there. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick so that it doesn't do that anymore. All I want you to do is penetrating oil or a little bit of loop just put around these holes just like that now when I put that fairing back on it's gonna pop right back into place and those little uh, grommets won't move around and they actually see how well it slipped in like it just popped right into them it makes it a lot easier and it stops those uh, rubber grommets from getting hard. And there we go. Just gonna put our last bolt in and that's it guys. So that guys is how you change the, the voltage rectifier and front CDI on a GT250. If you uh, have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. Definitely like and subscribe guys. Uh, it really helps us and we'll get out uh, more videos. Um, and uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video.